Did you know that the Apollo 11 astronauts had to quarantine after they got back from the moon to prevent a lunar pandemic? Hi, I'm John Williams, and I am at the Udfarhazi Air and Space Museum in Chantilly, Virginia. And I'm right next to the Apollo 11 mobile quarantine facility, where the Apollo 11 astronauts stayed right after their mission because NASA did not know if the moon contained some deadly virus or bacteria on the surface that the astronauts could get infected by. So as soon as the astronauts got home and they landed in the ocean, they put on their big suits or biological isolation garments, which protected them from the outside environment or from f infecting everything. And those were basically like hazmat suits. So after that, they landed on the, um, the USS Hornet, the helicopter, and then they immediately walked right through this door inside of this Airstream trailer, which was a refitted Airstream trailer, which is super cool. And as soon as they got in here, they actually got to talk to President Nixon, Richard Nixon, from right where you're standing, right inside here, which is super cool. And they stayed in here for about a period of 21 days when they were transported from the open ocean to Hawaii to the Lunar Research Laboratory, which is super cool. And then if you come over here, you can kind of see that they removed the wheels on this structure and they kind of fitted this metal so they could get it on a plane to get it over to the lunar laboratory let me show you something cool so you see this hatch right here back in this time the apollo 11 astronauts had a state-of-the-art microwave you see they couldn't get the freshest food in here because it was still quarantine but they would prepackage food and then they would send it through this pressurizer right here inside to inside this um, facility and then the astronauts would put the food inside the microwave and then eat it and super cool and then there would be they had a sink they had a mini fridge kind of like a college dorm room which is pretty cool and then they also had four bunk beds for the astronauts and two for the doctor and technician and a funny story is that an Apollo 14 astronaut, Rushley Schwakert, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, he actually got the top bunk while his other two pals got the bottom bunks. And he said when the doctor woke him up in the night, he actually just rolled out of bed onto the floor. And, being, and when asked about why that happened, he said, well, I have been in no gravity for eight days. I forgot gravity existed. Pretty funny. So then they had a closet right here where they could keep their clothes, normal clothes, and their bio biological garments. And then if you look right there in the back window, they had a shower and a sink and a toilet. And Michael Collins said the best part of being inside this facility was getting to have a nice warm shower because they couldn't have full showers inside their capsule. <laughs> and then if you look up there, you can see these um, vents and these vents were actually filters that cleaned the air that went in and out of the trailer that prevented the lunar germs from escaping that the astronauts supposedly had and the inside of this trailer was actually kept at a lower pressure than the outside air this was because if there was a leak the air would rush in and not out preventing the germs from escaping now, after their 21-day quarantine was over, the Apollo 11 astronauts went on a world tour to 24 countries in 45 days. And it's so special to be seeing one of these trailers. They're so cool. And there are only three left in existence. One here at Udvar Hazy in Chantilly, Virginia. One at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Alabama. And one on the USS Hornet in California. So cool. Please subscribe and check out my next video. Have a great day. Our mission is to make you space intelligent.